alone. May the Lord's face shine brightly upon you and bring you mercy and peace at this Christmas time and every Christmas time from now on until the end of eternity. Never can end. <laughs> so praise the Lord and peace from our peace giver who has sent forth his kingdom age covenant of love everlasting for all people at this joyous holiday season. Praise the Lord, it's time for the dove's vision of love. He who has no vision perishes. To be able to look ahead to something beautiful and glorious and something good should be the fire that will light all of our uh, inner uh, infernos of passion. And we need more than ever to let our love be loosed as if we were little children so that we're born again. Those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. That is his name, First John 4, 7. So understand now that there has never been any real power of love aside from God who is love. It is him living in us. All of our righteousness has been as filthy rags compared to his love. For the love that we have when we're, it's in motion is God living in us. It is not of our own. It is a gift of God and if we give that gift back, that is the unforgivable sin if we let our love die right out. So there has never been any real power of, of love apart from the Lord. For the depth, breadth, height, might, majesty, and glory of our infinite love, who is Christ Isa Yeshua, Jesus, fills all of space and uh, created time. And such magnificent charity allows the sun to shine just to show us the beauty of his holiness and the wealth of his love everlasting. And so praise the, the Lord um, because he is now flaring up with overflowing adoration for one and all of us. This is why the book of uh, Joel foretold the time would come when the Lord would be pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. And that was always literal with the unveiling of his kingdom age mystery of God that is fully over because the covenant has been given. And uh, so extrapolations of a purely loving God of equality over each and every one of us does this revelation prove. So understand that the Lord God is love. More than this, we cannot ask higher. We cannot look and farther can we never go. Therefore, the wise shall now serve instead of ruling as they knock upon the doors of lost hearts. Uh, and praise the Lord that once they're found by the brightest light of the truth of our beloved Lord of always, that those redeemed ones, they won't feel any feathery uh, breast from the Lord's dove of peace brought from him through the flying scroll. His most regal eagle of the eons has brought inspiration. And praise God, it's time that he has healing under his wings for the nations. For these are the days of Elijah, the days of the harvest of love beginning. And uh, all those that will mount up on the eagle's wings of his dove of love, uh, which is one and the same. The dove and the eagle are the lamb and the uh, lion. So it is time to rest under the electrifying presence uh, so that the Lord's love will, will keep expanding within us unto overflowing. So it's the season for intercession for one and all of us. So let the people be glad for the appointed end time blessing of salvation flowing as the swiftest rivers is finally drawing near for all souls of earth who are willing to receive it. Because this is the 
seen the time when the Lord God's everlasting gospel has come by the writer thereof. This is the days of the writer of the flying scroll, the writer of the end time revelator, who line by line, precept by precept, uh, his, the Lord strong and mighty one, the uh, one who would restore all things, Elijah, uh, that is the writer prophecy of Isaiah 28, the writer of Habakkuk 2. For the vision is written for the appointed time at the end, and it's written plainly on the tablets, so all those who readeth it may run and or hear it being read, as I have been doing. So it's time for the writer, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a kingdom age covenant giver, and a writer. And if you do not believe that, just listen to it. Uh, it's 15, 20 videos down, the manifested, everlasting creation gospel. So praise the Lord. It's time that we uh, move, move ahead. And uh, so it's also time that the Lord's everlasting gospel will now be presented unto all people along with his word of patience that was to coincide and come uh, along with the trial of all flesh COVID that spring in God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. We must let our love flow if we are to survive. Therefore, the people of love they need to arise from their apostate-like slumber, stir up their love within unto overflowing, so that benevolence from this world will be as uh, Isaiah 61 foretold. Money from all over this world is going to come in and make this world into like an Eden ahead of us, as the prophet Joel foretold. So we must arise from our slumber in order to have the discernment uh, which will allow people to sense the Lord God's authority has been b brought forth through the preparation of his peace through this ministry alone. For he says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one shall ever need to be taught of me anymore, says the Lord God. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest of all mankind, because it was correctly addressed to them. And for that reason, now that Israel has received their kingdom age covenant uh, of Jeremiah 31, 1, uh, so that in the latter days he's the God of all the families of Israel, and all in these days now have they inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3 foretold this. That's because the covenant was always over all mankind, not Christians. Uh, God is not a respecter of men. He loves everybody equally. We have seen through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, only seeing in part, but the Lord has ripped the veil. And now the wise may shine as the stars, knowing that he loves us all the same. And the unforgivable sin is just to let your love light go out. To, so remove yourself from the land of the walking dead where you have a, a, an appearance of godliness but deny the power of love who is God. If your love has just become a noun, it must become a verb again. It must be an action in motion like when we were little children. So therefore, uh, people need to arise. Arise and shine. Uh, for the scepter of all authority goes to one whose eyes are dull and red of wine, Genesis 49, 12. These are days of Shiloh, days of the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. Even though I've been transgressed by wine, the just will live by my faith because I shall be as hell and I'll never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto our living Lord God. So bless the, the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, uh, who forgives all of our iniquities, who helps all of our diseases and redeems our lives from destruction, who crowns us with his loving kindness and his most tender mercies. So it's time for the reaffirmation of glory, his glory that shall cover this earth as waters cover the sea, as uh, ponds are covered by lilies uh, all around this world and as gushing rivers of his living water comes forth as a great ocean 
of his adoration, for he alone is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And think it not strange that in the days of the restoration of Acts 3.21, our carpenter of the, arage, of the ages arises to tear down before he re rebuilds. This is the word of God in Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2, that declared that in the end days that uh, God would tear down all kingdoms of man's imagination not built solely upon his unconditional love. So praise the Lord and let the people say amen. And I hope you will, people, because it's all about love. And it's only about our King of glory who satisfies our mouths with good things so that our youth can be uh, renewed like an eagle's loftiness. And uh, But that Lord of life, our beloved, he is our defender of virtue, who shall execute judgment uh, and bring holiness for all oppressed. For he alone is our great I am of his cosmos, since he is the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the all-acting, the all-wise, as well as the all-loving and the eternal one. And he has countless names. He is our treasure of excellence, and he is our uh, excellence of treasure because Christ Jesus alone is the priceless pearl of great reward. But we must come out into the deep, and uh, only out in the deep is where you shall find him. Who shall come and feed the master's household of me while the master was away, Christ said in Matthew 24. And I have a mountain of food prepared here upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 25, Isaiah 2, and Micah 4. So upon this mountain must all people of the world beat the sword of the Spirit into the sickle of love, for the wheat and the tares cannot grow together anymore. Um, and know that our enlightened, our living wonder should never forget uh, and could never forget that he is also mankind's unmoving principle. He is the mind, the soul, the spirit, the life, the truth. All substance is he and the intelligence of the ages as well is he. And it's time that he doesn't want no more stupid sheep. Let down your mane. This is just my love hat. I got short hair. I cut this off. But uh, I put it, I wear it because it reminds me of the Nazarene. And uh, he does, he wants uh, a pride of lions. So let down your mane. And uh, he's roaring louder than ever before. And he is our omnipotent one. And no one can deny that he alone is our redeemer of life because he is our all-powerful, our ever-present, and our own tender light of love, uh, the brightest light that has ever been. And he always maintains our spiritual fires in healthy ways if we are participating and we are letting our love flow as when we were a little child. And so we need to keep uh, burning for the glorious love of our Father of lights at this Christmas time and far beyond. So we d should desire him like our heir, for neither is such a hard task. For the word and the actions of our carpenter of the life, it naturally inspires all smart souls of humanity to become most diligent while following after his unchanging commands, uh, such is uh, far more vital than any more mere worship. He wants obedience unto the spirit of love that, as he directs. For the purest love of divine purity encourages us always to love our Lord God supremely and to love others as ourselves while spreading the greatest good news that happiness from him is always spiritual, and it's born of his truth and his love, and that such laughter-filled realities are always unselfish because they always want people to share in them. Love is not even love until it's given away. So at this Christmas time, thank he who is our star of stars, the star of Bethlehem, that we too have been made to be stars, lesser. He is God in the flesh, Emmanuel, coming again into this world. But he told us what we are. We are gods.
John 10, we are angels in the flesh. The glory of the latter house is greater than that of his former, the angels, because we've been made higher than the angels. The word of God declares that in the end days that the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God would come forth with great, uh, with all of creation, having great expectation for that revelation. And the truth is, people, that the Lord's latter house is greater than that of the former, and the first are last, and the last are first. That's why the Word of God says that we shall be as the angels, sexless. I wonder why. And so praise the Lord. This whole world is filled with people that are either turning out to be angels or demons. And if we turn out to be loveless demons who will not let our love come back on, then it's got nothing to do with what we believe. It's got everything to do with our love. We can perish. There is a hell of our own making. Suicidal spirituality where we let God in us go out is light of love. And then we're total in total darkness. But all of mankind has been under the gross darkness of spiritual racism. These are the days of the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, which means the canons must open because the, the truest um, uh, crux of the crucible of all the ages, the climax, the fireworks of God is now that the mystery of God is over. The first are last, the last are first, the seventh trumpet is sounded first, and all nations have immediately become the Lord's. For the Lord God is saying that in this hour he arises as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, and Israel has inherited all mankind. And I am from the north, Isaiah 41, the messenger unto Israel would be from the north. And Israel would not say a mumbling word. He would be ignored. So you want to know who Elijah it is? It is the one that Israel is ignoring. And it is the one that has done everything in vain. Uh, Isaiah 49, 4 is me. It was never Christ. Christ never did anything in vain. And uh, so praise the Lord that we can get beyond that. Uh, Isaiah 41 says that this has been preached since the beginning. And people will come to realize that I am correct in everything that I have been preaching. So until that awakening uh, brings forth days of prosperity for me, I'm just a voice of one crying forth in the wilderness of ignorance. And man, are people ignorant, and they want to be that way. They do not want to change. They do not want to beat no swords into us. <laughs> and they want what they want, which was unrestored spiritual racism is all people have in this world. Uh, and the truth is God loves each of us equally and is calling each of our names as if we were the only one. All of us, we are beloved.